from the Holy Gospel according to John. After Jesus had fed the 5,000 men, his disciples saw him walking on the sea. The next day, the crowd that remained across the sea saw that there had been only one boat there and that Jesus had not gone along with his disciples in the boat, but only his disciples had left. Other boats came from Tiberias, near the place where they had eaten the bread, when the Lord gave thanks. When the crowd saw that neither Jesus nor his disciples were there, they themselves got into boats and came to Capernaum, looking for Jesus. And when they found him across the sea, they said to him, Rabbi, when did you get here? Jesus answered them and said, Amen, amen, I say to you, you are looking for me, not because you saw signs, but because you ate the loaves and were filled. Do not work for food that perishes, but for the food that endures for eternal life, which is the Son of Man, which the Son of Man will give you. For on him the Father, God, has set his seal. So they said to him, What can we do to accomplish the works of God? Jesus answered and said to them, This is the work of God, that you believe in the one he sent. The Gospel of the Lord. The opening prayer says that God wants to give us paschal remedies. What does that mean? The paschal mystery is the fact that Jesus died and he rose again. He died on the cross and rose again. These paschal remedies come in the form of baptism where we are plunged into the water to die with Christ and we emerge rising with Christ to new life because our soul is healed from original sin. And so there's new life in us, a life that isn't necessarily calculated by what the physical world says. But now you have the source of immortality in you. In other words, going to live forever. However, we have to die with Christ so that we can rise with him. One of the things that sustains us along the journey in this Paschal Remedy is the Holy Eucharist, the body, the blood, the soul, and divinity of Jesus. You could say that the Eucharist is the medicine of eternal life, the medicine that preserves us in having a body that will live forever in eternity, our glorified body, that is. But there's also another sacrament that enables us to enter into these paschal remedies, the remedy of forgiveness, the sacrament of reconciliation, where God desires to wash us clean again and renew us in his reconciliation. And then we have what we call the sacrament of the sick. 
Yesterday I was called to a hospice house for someone who was dying. It's there that that sacrament is presented. Anoint, we anoint. And with the sacrament of the sick, it's implied that when the sacrament of the sick is given, even if the person is unconscious, their sins are forgiven on the spot. If it's, that's the desire of their heart, even while they're dying and they can't speak for themselves. On the other hand, if you recover from your sickness by some miracle, you have to see a priest as soon as possible to confess your sins properly. However, if, that's, if you die, you're covered. Who wants one of those? If you didn't raise your hand, you're in big trouble. These sacraments are vital, these paschal remedies, because they revive us in the great healing that God wants to give us. And we go back then to the Eucharist, because although these sacraments do baptism and reconciliation, the sacrament of the sick, they, they are all involved with healing However, the Eucharist becomes vital because it not only is the medicine of eternal life, but it is Jesus. You could say the Holy Eucharist is not an it, it's a person, the person of Jesus Christ. And so Jesus says to this people who have come across the waters to find him, you're looking for me because you ate the loaves and we're filled, he's basically saying, you guys just want another free lunch. And that's okay, okay, but that's not what we really need. And so he says, work for food that endures. The food that is not perishable. Jesus is telling him, you're settling for perishable food. The Eucharist is a food of, it's medicinal. It preserves us for eternal life. Food can satisfy our, our appetites as earthly food, but earthly food will not give us eternity. It's to be found in Jesus Christ, Jesus the Eucharist, Jesus who is the way, the truth, and the life. You could say that the Eucharist for us is Jesus, the edible medicine that preserves us for eternal life. This is why we come to Mass. This is why we pray. This is why we receive the Sacrament of Reconciliation. This is why the priest goes and ministers the Sacrament of the Sick to usher those who are dying into the gates of heaven in the glory of God the Father who we've longed and pined for. Regina Jenny, Letare, Alleluia, qui aque memories deportare, Alleluia, Resurrexi, Alleluia, ora pro nobis Deum, Alleluia.